Let's talk about pages 31 through 34 in uh, page 1089. And this is taking a geometric uh, figure, a graph, and determining whether we are enlarging it or reducing it. And um, that's just kind of an interesting concept. The uh, page 31 explains, and you need to kind of go through and study those examples carefully, right? I'm not going to teach you the whole concept here, but I will point out uh, in, in by way of summary that if the scale factor is greater than one, then we are enlarging it. It could be one and a half, you know, it could be three, it could be 3.5, but that's making it larger. If it's a fraction that's less than one, then we're reducing it, okay, to go from the original image to the, um, or from the original to the image, I should say. And uh, then they do on page 30, um, 33, they give you the coordinates, okay, for the original, and then uh, without graphing it, they just show you the coordinates, the address for the image of those points, okay? And really, it should be fairly easy if you just eyeball it to see, okay, if, is the x in this point, and then to get to the other point, am I multiplying it by like 2, okay, or is it being cut in half? And then you should be able to use that same number or fraction for every single number, okay? So especially look for one, the number one, okay, or negative one or something like that, because that'll be real easy when you see the image of that to see what did they multiply by, all right? So I'll just give you that little tip. Let's talk about something that um, at least the student I was helping found to be a little more challenging, and that um, I set up for you the problem on the bottom of page 33, and then there's a couple more on page 34 that are like this. It wants you to take this image, and the scale is one half, and to somehow draw it and show whether it would be an enlargement or a reduction. So we need to first look at each of these points and say, well, what are the coordinates of that point? So this point here is negative 2, and then it's up here at 3, okay? Negative 2, 3. This one is negative 2, negative 3. So I'm going to go ahead and label these points, okay? And then this is the point 2, 2. <clears throat> So what we're going to do now is take the scale factor of one-half and multiply all six of these numbers by one-half and then figure out what, you know, where to graph that, okay? So if I, so I'll call this E prime and negative two times one-half would be negative one. Three times one-half is one and a half, okay? Three halves. This one, F prime, is going to be 2 times 1 half is 1, same here, so 1, 1. And D prime is going to be the point negative 1, and then negative 3 over 2, which is the same as negative 1 and a half. All right, so now we're going to take these points and graph them. So let's find negative 1, and then... I'm going to go up one and a half, so halfway up, about right there. For this point, I'm going to find one, one, so right there, okay? And then for this one, the prime is negative one, negative one and a half, so right about down here, okay? So to graph that now, get your ruler out. And you'll connect this point to this point, this point straight down to here, and then this point and this point. And so you can see that it is a reduction, all right? But I want you to do it on your graph paper. The lines are all there, nicely laid out. But that's what we're doing is we're taking each of these points, multiplying them by the scale factor to get the new value. We call that the prime or the image of that point after that scale factor has been applied. Connect the dots and you have the new image, okay? And then so you do that same thing on page 34. There are two problems like that.